Hey everybody, thanks for watching True Crime Time. You might recall in my last video, I explained my theory that Brian Koberger was involved with the Catherine Janis murder in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been looking into the case a little bit more, and we might actually have some video footage that shows somebody that looks very similar to Brian fleeing the park right at the time of the murders. I'm going to show you the video. It's kind of small. It's a Twitter video that the police posted. But I'm going to put the link in here so you can check it out yourself. And then I'm going to zoom in on some still shots and we can take a closer look. Okay, everybody, I'm just going to hit play here and let you watch this video all the way through. It is very brief. If you look here to the right, you can see a person running on their way out of the park. They are wearing a headlight on their head, so it is a bit difficult to see their face. Um, just take note here that this is Piedmont Park. This footage was released by law enforcement, and this was around the time of the murders that same night. Now, I connected Brian to this case before I saw this footage, and it was really interesting to me that as soon as I looked at this, I saw somebody that matches his description perfectly on camera. I need to know what everybody else thinks, though. Could this be Brian? I'm going to play the video now. And then I'm going to zoom in on some still shots so we can take a closer look. Okay, I'm going to play that one more time for you. Now, one thing that stood out to me watching this person run was they do have a pretty unique gait to their stride. Now I'm really hoping that there's somebody out there who might be familiar with what Brian looks like when he's running. Maybe there's an old person from high school that knows him, or maybe somebody who he trained with in boxing who might have gone jogging with Brian. Now there is other pictures of Brian, and in my opinion it looks like he took a picture of himself while he was actually jogging. So we're going to play this one last time and then we'll take a look at those still shots I'm talking about. So here's another image of that same person jogging near the park that was released by law enforcement. What does everybody think about this? Does that look like it could be Brian? It looks like it's somebody who's pretty tall in my opinion. They do appear to be Caucasian. They seem to be somewhat in good shape. It almost looks a lot like Brian's body type, if you were to ask me. Let's take a look at a few pictures of Brian really quick, just to get his image fresh in our mind. Now this is the image I mentioned earlier. Um, I saw this early on in the case as things were coming out about Brian. And the first thing I thought of when I saw this picture before I even got to this point in my theory was that this is a picture Brian took of himself while he was jogging or working out. What do you think about that? Does that look like Brian might be jogging? He seems to be looking at the camera posing in some way with the finger up. He's got his earbuds in, listening to music, it looks like. His hair to me even looks like he might have even been sweating a little bit. I'm going to wrap up this video with one final image here of the mysterious jogger side by side with Brian. Take a close look here and let me know what you think. One thing that does stand out to me here is the complexion of the jogger's skin is very similar to the color of Brian's skin. His body position does seem to be similar, the way that his chest shape kind of almost leans forward in his movements. Now this surveillance footage was released by law enforcement, and I do wonder if they may even have additional footage that they have not released yet. 